had some good old technical difficulties. So we're just going to get this loaded up. Ran a little bit long trying to get that all set up. But I think I think we're in good shape now. Okay, we good, we good, we good. I think we good. dive right back into things. Had a uh, dungeon lined up to start digging into. Though I think I'm going to open with uh, some side questing. Start with the uh, goblin tag. Yeah, we'll start with goblin tag and go from there. Try me, Janu the Gobbler, one of the four gob kings. Isn't exactly a fluke. I can't believe I lost. I can tell a pizza in twenty seconds. How about you? Ah! That sounds absolutely awful. All right. Well, that was a. Uh... That side quest, nice and quick. I gotta set up channel points. I haven't done haven't done a whole lot. Alright, let's see here. We're gonna take the B team or not. Alright, well, we'll take Piros. Hark! He have fair eyes! And we'll take Mistral. unlock a character named Natsume. She's also a twin blade, so she's a good balanced character. She has a lot of options um, for battle. She gets a little bit of everything like Kite does. So, well worth the investment. I forgot Pyros gets his own theme. Do, do, do. 
I went right into the dungeon because I wanted the spiral edge. But I got scared and ran away. Come on, Natsume. Be strong. That's why you started this game. Oh, I'm such an idiot. That voice actor sounds familiar. I wonder what she was in. boy. Little fireball dropping. Heels going. lucky with the left, so I'm gonna keep pulling left and see what happens. Apparently just going left is uh, the right call. Wow, you have the spiral edge? You're so lucky. Oh, are you sure? But I can't give you anything in return. Well, except maybe myself. What? <laughs> Don't take me wrong. Well, what I meant 
was. Maybe I could help you out with something. Bye. very smoothly. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna Us. send him off. And we're gonna head off to the next zone. Now I've got half a mind to bring Natsume along, but she's also level one, so she's gonna get bodied over and over. So it might not be worth bringing her. Yeah, I think I'll bring Black Rose and then, uh, Go for the switch up after she's got some levels under her belt. Because okay. if memory serves, this next dungeon's a bit of a rough go. How am I on items? I could use some health drinks. Uh, so that's all over here. problem with stepping away from a game for a bit and then coming back, I'm trying to remember what all I still need for them. Alright, so Black Rose is just hurting across the board for items. Mistral has okay items. Borsch. I love the names that they have on everyone in this. Fuse blades now. Nah. Mootski. What do you got? Dogman sword. I think I'll just swing by the standard item shop. Oh, I have no money. Uh, let's see. Just a broke boy. A few things I could give Black Rose just to buffer up a bit. Uh, oh sh shit! She's been holding out on me. Rose is missing, I just haven't handed it to her yet, is the uh, chess piece. So, let's see if I can snag one off someone. Mutsuki didn't have anything. Uh, nope, not you. Peach 
Yoshi. How about you? What do you got? I didn't buy my... Oh, uh, boy. I didn't buy my health drinks. I gotta pick those up still. That's okay. We'll circle back. Oops. Okay. What about resurrect? Take an extra one. I am very, very poor. That's what I'm uh, gathering. to come see me so I can give her her stuff. Oh, she's at the entry. Hello. Mm, I'm gonna save and then we'll go. memory serves, this was a pretty tough dungeon, but it's also been like 10 years since I played this, so maybe not. I am slightly under level, but that's okay. Gotta love a little challenge, you know? Well, that was easy. Strange. Okay. Uh, right. Yeah. 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 Okay, what else do I have? Yeah. Yeah. Stroll out here acting like yeah. I don't give her stuff. Yep. <laughs> this is so exciting. All right, we're off to the races. Oh, I should have pulled the grunty out. Oh, that's okay. dungeons. Alright. We got the heavy base drop. We're ready to go.
Unicorn Blades. I think Mia can use that. Uh, this is the thing. So those plants, they cast sleep. Bites the dust. Ooh, fire damage up. That is good for me. And I picked right. Apparently I should just always turn left. It seems to just work out. Oh, hi, Rita. How's it going? sleep off. And, sh and it got the sleep off, so that's fun. Oh, just waking up? Oh, you definitely earned some, uh, some lazy time. <clears throat> there we go. And we'll just throw our 
Shire Claw. Going left, see if it continues to work out. Bros out here getting in the crossfire. Okay. We're doing good and getting better. Stopping to smell the flowers isn't really a nice thing to do in this game. There's a lot of death just all over. Kind of makes you wonder what, like, why. Why there's just so much, like, peace. Were these castles like torture dungeons? Were they prisons? Has me wanting to go look up the lore now. Alright, so we're just gonna keep smashing away.
Well, that was good. That went a lot more smoothly than I expected. Oh, I didn't get the, uh, the item at the bottom of the dungeon. I was only a little cheated there, then. Log out and check the message boards. See if there's any more uh, info. Okay, how about an email? There we go. Both of these seem like kind of dumb responses. You look like you're good at sports, I think. Uh, do I like beef stew or ginger pork? Uh, between the two, I think I have to take beef stew. Maybe I have to go to Makanu. Wait around for the email to come through. Have you ever seen this game, Rita? that guy so much uh here we go what i do is none of your business elk mia do you like him like him what do you mean by that mia uh uh i i like you what what's this i feel strange all right gotta go track them down in the back alley Okay. Hey, can we talk for a minute? I have a favorite area. But it's been look you're the Sure. Thank you. Alright, me and Elk um, are gonna go on a a duo adventure, I guess. Yeah, the anime was like the uh the prequel to the games. So it kind of set everything up, thing up for, uh, this game is the first of four in a series, and then after those four games there's like more manga and anime, and then they did another full on anime which was the prequel to another set of games. They got pretty intense with their world building on this. Cougar bandana. Yeah, it's elk. I'm not a big fan of elk. It'll be fine. Oh, it's level 14 area. He's level 7. Ooh, elk. Why are you like this? Yeah, so the anime that they had going on was, uh, it's the story of someone whose mind gets trapped in their character, and they live inside the game, and it's a mystery kind of centered around this person. Uh, let's see, will I be okay if I just dive straight into the dungeon? Maybe I'll see if I can grab something for, uh...
10k. Okay. No boots, no home. No. Looking for any kind of mage gear that's reasonable. off this guy. It's a pretty good item. Yeah. I'm starting to find the good items. Yeah. They did a lot of really interesting things with this that didn't... Like, they didn't really need to do them. But the fact that they took the time to do it was really cool. So, like... There's, a uh, One side story where... Basically... You have this, um... It's like a mod for the game, and he meets a wandering AI, and it has no impact on the overarching story or anything, but it's just like this random side story about this random guy that works for the game. So, like, they do a lot of those little side stories, or, uh, they have manga where it's centered on, like, a side character, and it just kind of builds around the interactions of the side characters, but you would never see it in the actual, um, run of the game. You just get it from that side media, and you'd never know unless you went digging. Yeah, I, I always really liked it. This was like my first game that like really sucked me into JRPGs. Ugh. Get Black Rose out of here. Natsumi's level 5. He's so weak. Okay, I don't know how this is gonna go. I'm probably gonna end up dying. But, nothing ventured, nothing gained. You just gotta go for it, you know? So to catch you up on characters here, so this elk guy, he's this uh, kind of unassuming person. I don't person. see anything wrong with this place. I'm so He um he hangs out with this character that's a uh, a cat model, and the cat became very interested in the main character when she met him, and it's got elk all weirded out. Because he's so used to it just being the two of them. I'll give you every item I have in return for. Um, can you give me your bracelet? Please, I beg you. If I get it, Mia will hang around with me again. 
Just like we used to. <sighs> what the? What? What's happening? Let's go to the dungeon. We might find something. Mushroom. Mushroom. Gotta love all the derpy little fruits and stuff. Ooh, I can get spammy with my uh, skills. Yes. Alright, what kind of random stuff do I have that I can just give elk? Uh, I have the fire bracer. Uh. Mushrooms. Grab these random mushrooms. I never played with the uh, the voiceover in Japanese. Let's let's play around with that for a bit. Yeah. So all of the little uh, there's all kinds of little like foods that you can pick up in the field, and they all just like make little cute noises and hang out waiting for you. Elk's got the little spooky voice, like it's a... Uh... Not spooky, but... Where I'm looking for here. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. They did a really good job on that, uh, on the casting. I'm curious to hear what the other characters sound like as well. Yeah, when I was a kid, I, uh, since this was really my first exposure to, uh, JRPGs and stuff, I was, like, thrown off by the fact that, uh, we had the option of either or in terms of the voicing, so I never played around with it. So color me intrigued. I really want to hear the rest. Boom, boom, boom. I will get Rap Yolan. It's interesting, they even, um, they're pronouncing a lot of the skills the same as well. I thought I'd get out of having to take damage, but guess not. Man, if 
feel like I'm power leveling Elk. He's getting so much experience. Every five monsters, he should level up. Until it slows down. Future you get in the game? No, that's a lie. You do get another one in the third game. the boss. So let's see if there's a statue over this way. Nope, just a dead end. Well, at least it didn't punish me. I'm starting to be able to pick up, like, the odd word in Japanese now. It's slowly progressing and just, uh, watching too much stuff. Oh, he's spicy. He does a lot of damage. Don't like that. Oh, he hurts. I'm only a little afraid. Oh, he just one shot Elk. That's how it's gonna be. Okay, what do I got? I'm gonna increase my accuracy too. Let's try another one of these uh, gra or wood attacks. Nope. Let's try the uh, tornado one. Uh, it's not making a big difference. Oh, he just hurts. Get a little healing. 
Make sure I have 10 SP at all times. Oh no, he's getting an aggro on Elk. No, don't bully my boy. I mean, he's only my boy for this dungeon. I actually don't like Elk all that much. For reasons that I'm not supposed to know yet. Some of these bosses are so obnoxious. Alright, let's smack him with a grass spell. I'm gonna switch out to that. We're gonna go for big hit. Attack. Here we go. Elk. Yapari koko datta. Sagashita yo. Sagashita? Boku. Yoku wakan nai kedo. Elk ga inai to sabishi yo. Arigato, Mia. It's a pretty good comparison, voice-wise. Yeah, same kite, same. try for the time trial dungeon. That's what I want to try and do. Let's see. I wonder if I have the keyword for it. I've got this old paper I printed out when I was... Just how old would I have been? Eleven? Putrid Primitive Melody. Nope. Pagan Sunny Demon. That's the... That's the name of the dungeon I need. Pro 
Chronicling. I don't think I have Pagan yet. Okay, so I can't do it yet. Greedy. Oh, maybe I can do my favorite dungeon, though. Well, thanks for popping by, Rita. Have a good one. I'll talk to you later. Ah, Greedy Golden March. There we go. Level 10 Fire. Sword and Hideous Destroyer's Far Thunder. Blah, blah, blah. So that's what I want to read about. <laughs> I think those are actually a thing now. Alright, I th think there's two more people I can unlock. So I'm going to take a look into doing that before continuing the story. もちろん。おお。では早速。なお。何を。とりあえず<笑><笑><笑> Alright, so that's our next story dungeon. But before we do that, we're gonna recruit. Yeah, let's get Natsume. And we're also gonna grab. Who's lacking levels here? Mia. Uh... I don't think she'll join me. She busy, yeah. Elk, you busy? Yeah, of course he is. Uh, I don't want to deal with Pyros yet, so I'll grab Mistral. Ah, she sounds like Chica. Spiral Edge. 
Those look so cool. Them swords. Okay. Uh, I think. Go get the Kotetsu sword. So I didn't pick up on this as a kid, but I'm pretty sure the guy we're going to unlock here, Sanjuro, he's like it. Well, it's not that he's like. Um, since it's an MMO and everything, he's a American player playing on the Japanese servers. I just didn't pick up on that when I was a kid. Just those fun little things that you pick up on when you're older and you look back at it all. Poor guy. A little bit of a prank. Though I wonder how much of a prank it actually is. Oh no, I'm asleep now. Well, this is quaint. There we go. Oh no, I'm getting hungry. Yeah. Yeah, that seems about right. That adds up. Oh. 
there's a scary boy. I guess everything's kind of scary to me. Guess. Since I'm not over leveling non stop. Another party member. Da, da, da. That didn't make any sense. Let's see if I can get Gardenia as well. And then we'll go get Piros his uh his whoopsie medicine. Dungeons. I think this is my favorite field BGM in the game. Disarmed it, but I didn't open it. That's a whoops. Natsume's damage is low because of her level, or if it's because she's using a level 1 weapon. Up, up, up. 
<laughs> An apple, apple. I love all the little names. turn there. Gotta do that left turn every time. That's the rule. Except for the one time it wasn't. President, uh... I know there's a, a word for gold, but maybe. Yeah. Languages. How about them languages and all their decisions? ガルデニアさんですか。そうだが、何の用だ。ある人から手紙を渡すようにって頼まれてて。ある人あなたのファンクラブの人だ。断る。I almost feel bad for Gardenia in this one. She's just got like these clingy fans. Which one? Isn't that kind of weird? Just getting fans from being an MMO player that doesn't want them? Bam, 
Thank you, ma'am. faster in here. Oh, there is. I have speed charm. <laughs> she understands, but she won't take the letter. one of these. There we go. I'm a little tankier. So I wonder how they calculate all the, uh, like the damage health calculations in this, because the cap stat for any stat is 99. So, and that's like up through all four games. So that plus one's actually like really substantial. hitting her stride and I love it. She's finally getting her big damage. Getting her big uh, skill point pool going, so... It's good news. Still using her starting uh, starting staff though. So yeah, level one. I'll have to look it together. An upgrade. Oh, excuse me. It's 
<laughs> She's so resistant to this. Though, if she was taking this really seriously, it's almost like by accepting the letter, she's accepting their feelings and she doesn't want to do that. So I guess I can kind of see it. There's nothing more to fight. That's probably our D right up there. I assume she's the middle route, so let's get our uh, let's get our dungeon item. Yeah, <laughs> you have obtained the death. You have. Uh, They've got all kinds of, uh, they based it off the tarot cards for the, uh, status spells. So, you have obtained the devil, the fool, and so on. Newt necklace. Uh, that's an improvement for her. Yeah, I could imagine how that would be, like, I know, um, when I was playing it through it, since the story is already pretty convoluted, uh, anytime I was playing it with friends around, it'd be like, what is this? insane game. Why is there an anime movie that came with it? <laughs> it's not like you can show them the anime movie either, because it makes no sense without context. The first one's actually pretty entertaining. Did you have the full set? I was trying to figure out where in the storyline to place them. Yeah. Yeah, I got my set still. I'm not emulating this, I actually have the PS2 all hooked up. I think I told you about that. Yeah. It was a journey and a half to figure it all out, though. I had to buy this, uh... Some open source... thing, and... Um, all the help articles are like the most popular ones. It's about European consoles and it doesn't say anything about it being for European specifically. So like they use a different connector over there. So I was just like losing my mind trying to get this to work. I learned a lot about AV, so can't really call it a loss, but 
definitely put through the ringer. Yeah, big pain. The worst part was, um... Zack was just relishing in my suffering. He was like, I really hope it doesn't work and you have to emulate it after all this work. <laughs> Fair eyes coming along. Oh wow, Sandro's actually the highest level party member I have for some reason. Yeah, they could like. I think it'd be really cool if they took this and they ported it, but cleaned up the uh, the menu a bit. Actually, I thought I'd be annoyed more by uh, having to go into the menu for all my skills and stuff, but it's actually not that bad. Hot-blooded scaffold. Let's go. Yeah, exactly. It's just like using an ATB or something. Yeah, I'd agree with that. You like my party pick for this dungeon? Little nod to the future. Heroes has his own theme in all of the games. There's just like such random silly touches that they have, but it like really adds to the charm as well. He's a goof, but he's a lovable goof. Though if I were playing an MMO and some guy was kind of forcing his roleplay on me, I would not be, uh, <laughs> that would not be cash money. Actually, now that I think about it, I think that happened on Final Fantasy. <laughs> yeah, there's, um, I had it happen too. There's this guy who, uh... Remember that guy that, like, roleplayed as being, like, some king or something, and he carried on, and he ended up getting outed as, um, a pedo creepo? The one time I talked to him, he, um... Classic little... Oh, shit. Lollafell's always getting up to trouble. Yeah, the guy, he like... He came up to me this one time and he tried to recruit me to his... his massive free company. Even though I was already uh, 
about I think it was lore at the time I was leading lore and uh, yeah this guy tried to get me to jump <laughs> and he's like speaking in like hyper formal speech yeah the lore days And then, like, two weeks after I had that encounter with the guy was when uh, someone set up, like, a sting and caught him being a pedo. I don't know if you've ever heard me uh, refer to the uh, I Heard 18 thing. But that's where it came from. He, um, yeah, so like, he was ERPing with this person, and, no, no, his def- <laughs> There is no defending it because, like, the evidence was overwhelming, and he had to go into hiding. But, um, basically what had happened was he... Yeah, that, that's exactly what he said. So, like, they got on the topic of age, and the person said they were 16, and he responded, I heard 18. <laughs> so Yeah, not, not, that's not it, Chief. And then, once the news came out, there's like droves of people leaving his company for obvious reasons. He had like 500 people, and then like, that's when all the dirty laundry about him being a, like, from his thing that he was running came out, and yeah, it was a whole, it was a whole thing. But yeah, just, I heard 18, just, I'll never forget that, that situation was just bonkers. And like, the entire server knew about it too, so like, the guy tried changing his name, but he was on a bunch of people's friend list, so he immediately got caught. So he tried leaving the server and changing his name, but when he came back to the server, the name change kicked in and he was immediately caught again. Like, just... He, um... If he were a criminal, like, if he was on the run from the cops, he would have got caught, like, three times over. That's for sure. I'm trying to think if there's any, uh, any other stories that I heard. I don't think so. Nothing like that. I 
think I'm gonna die. Oh yeah, the constant, uh, whoa, 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 I gotta slow down. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of, uh, Haseo. Like, he's just so obnoxious for so much of the game. Uh, actually, I don't know... I don't know if you've met... Uh, uh, what's this? My friend from Florida. Might have chatted with him before. He, um... When he came up here, we uh, we played through. Shit, what what was it? Yeah, I started GU with him because I talked about how I enjoyed the dot hack games and stuff, and I'd forgotten how obnoxious Asayo was at the start. And we ended up just shutting the game off because he's just such an asshole through like the entire first game. Imagine getting ganked in a dungeon and then you hold a grudge for two years. Like if he hated the game that much. Oh, uh, I guess he had Shino and stuff, but still. If you hate an MMO that much, why do you keep playing it? I guess the net. I guess I have to go up for the remedy. This is an annoying dungeon. Like, just when you think about it, Haseo got ganked his first time playing by two higher level players that just curb stomped this newbie. Logs into the game for the first time, they're like, hey, come with us, and then they just stomp his head in. <laughs> And then you get recruited into some weird cyber cult. Looking for an item that may or may not exist. Like, there had to be other MMOs <laughs> to pick. Like, if you're having that shit of a time, and you're being all edgy and pissy, why keep playing it? Yeah, Haseo had no chill and just held a grudge for two years. The best part is, he just went around killing other players for, like, those two years, too. Like, as soon as he was able to player kill, he only killed player killers. 
but he like held that grudge for two years. <laughs> Just farming player killers. This is a sick joke. You have to find, like, the key item on each floor. I missed the one on the first floor, so... The end of the dungeon's actually on floor one. That's fun. Thank you, Mia. Very cool. I'm glad you did this to us. I can't stop thinking about being angry for two years now. Like, I'm just trying to picture it in the context of Final Fantasy. Like... You boot up Final Fantasy, you, you go to the wolf's den, someone beats you in PvP. And you just start only doing PvP for like the next two years. Like, live and breathe in the wolves' den. I actually met someone uh, during, like, Christmas break time. I ran into someone at the Wolves' Den, and they legitimately only log on to PvP. And they go from server to server just fighting people that they meet at the Wolves' Den. They're like... <laughs> Alright! <laughs> um... Yeah, I was shocked. I mean, they each their own. They're really nice. But it was just like... They hadn't even finished the uh, Shadowbringer story. Like, they were like right at the start of it, or... Oh, wait, no, no. They're towards the end of it, but they hadn't finished the story, and they just spent all their time online doing PvP, and it's like, okay, like, not for, not for me, good on ya. It's a good thing you guys have a ranked ladder, and you have something to chase. May the stars shine upon you. <laughs> Imagine turning someone's someone else's character one color. I just think of all the wacky hijinks in context of Final Fantasy now with this. I'm just like, it's it's so funny to think about. I guess Mabinogi would be a better fit in terms of comparing games, though. That was a really interesting game. Pyrrhus' Diary. Minus one magic. Very cool. Thank you, Pyrrhus.
Yeah, his book was just a debuff, this man. <laughs> What a meme. Yeah, the game's actually so chaotic when you think about it. Like, it's it almost feels episodic in the story arcs. It's like you log on and then you don't know what the game's gonna offer each time you log in. reference to Fragment that was that went completely over my head originally. Oh, I should try getting my hands on Fragment again. Yeah, it's the one that we figured out how to, uh, I think I needed your help getting it set up, but yeah, it's the online one, the MMO that they had on PS2. Cursed Despaired Paradise, I th think that might be the finale. I want to appreciate that with that email there, Kite had the option to be a total creepo and his first response to me like, where do you live if you want to meet up? Yeah, I, I didn't have a party to play with so I played one dungeon I think. I th think I made a heavy axe man for that. Because of course I would. <laughs> a girl ASL. Did you ever play Habo Hotel? <laughs> oh, okay. So Habo Hotel. It was uh, I played it when I was a kid, like back when, uh, uh, what was, it was like pre-WoW days, like before World of Warcraft was even out, um, just to put a timeline on it, and it was basically this uh, hotel, like a virtual hotel with all these different lounges and stuff, and then people could create private rooms within the hotel. Uh, you would pay real money in order to buy furniture and stuff to decorate your room, or uh, gamble with other players to try and get it, um, or you could just hang out in the lounges. And it was basically just a social... I don't even want to call it an MMO, but like it was a social online experience. He had little avatars and stuff. And it was just non-stop ASL, ASL, ASL. <laughs> yeah, it was a chat room with avatars with like a I don't even want to call it pay to win, but pay to pay to flex services. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah, a creeper version of a guy is a good way to put it. 
Or I guess... I guess it would be more like a, uh... <laughs> I'm trying to think of a good comparison. Like, uh... A normie version of Gaia. Hey girl, I run this casino in this 40 foot by 40 foot room. When you're in this room, I am God. I've got 500 of the same chair. You want to try your luck? Oh, man. Yeah, ho have a hotel was a run. Cursed Despaired Paradise. I don't think that... Yeah, no, it's not Scathe yet. The name got me thinking I was going to be fighting Scathe sooner than later. But I'm definitely getting close to the end already. The game goes fast. Yes. Yeah, I'll take Mistral. Oh, no Mistral today. Oh, fuck me, I guess. I'll take Ardenia. Yeah, I'm gonna do Parasite Dragon. 100%. He drops a really nice spicy weapon, which is really fun to bring into the next game. When I was a kid, I managed to down Scathe without, um, without having anyone go down. Like, I didn't even have to use a Resurrect during that run, so... A part of me wants to try and recreate that... Mastery of that fight. <laughs> I played this game like a fiend as a kid. I mentioned it earlier, but I, uh... Actually, I had printed, like, tips and tricks and stuff off of, um... Cheat Code Central. So there's another throwback. So I had my uh, cheat code central stuff, and I kept it folded up inside the game case, so I actually still have the info. It's good info, too. Yeah, you know how it was. I, I was a little degenerate. I didn't even use the, uh, you know how there's the printer-friendly versions? So I've got, like, ads. <laughs> the classic single, I am male, seeking a female between. <laughs> yeah, like, the ads are on here. Yeah, the ads. I, I think this ad's for GM. Canada-wide clearance. 20 cents off per liter of gas on 2,000 liters. <laughs> Congratulations, you won. Enter your... <laughs> My favorite part um, is enter your credit card information to confirm you're 18.
Nanda. Actually, um, you ever watched the uh, Internet Historian? Bokata. Nanda. He um. He did this one video Bokata. where he went Nanda. down the ad rabbit hole to see if he could um. Bokata. See if there were hot singles in his area for real. And all of them, like, lead back to the same website that asks asks for the, um, the login. Yeah, the Casa Concordia. That one was... I was dying laughing watching that one. It was pretty buried. I think it's like a, a year or two old now. Or it might be on his... Oh, it's on his incognito thing, which is like the more casual site. Or, uh, channel. Nanda. Nanda. playing on hard mode, not gearing your people. Holy hell. That's like, um, so for me, one game that's kind of had the reverse effect was, uh, Dark Cloud. Because I remember playing it growing up, and I was very good at it as a kid. So I went back to play it when I was in high school. And I was like, how the hell did I beat this? I want to play that one, too. I think I'll stream it at some point. It's super long, though. So, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> the dying of... It was... That was a really interesting mechanic to add to the game. Because it's like, um... Oh, shit. Yeah, Dark Cloud was rough. Yeah, the Dying of Thirst thing, as annoying as it was, I really liked it too, because it was like a soft timer that you had control of. Hunger meter, thirst meter, durability. Yeah, no, that's a good point. There's a lot of resource management in that. Kanbein, 
身にしみるよねじゃあまあニコニコローンとかない<笑>アイテム全部揃えないと気が済まないタイプなんだよねなもんでにゃその辺一回りしていやはい鉄壁のしょってのこの九百九十九あれうそそれってまあそれはそれとしていらないそんなこと言わないでもいらない俺をそんなら俺にだって意地があらん<笑>ああそれからな<笑>さっきの人は行っちゃったよMy first, uh, it was actually my second PS2 game. The first one was, uh, <sighs> it's called PK Out of the Shadows. You play as Donald Duck, but you're like a weird superhero in space. So I went from that into Dark Cloud. So, like, I guess I opened with just getting rough rided. Yosh. I'll take Gardenia on this one. Momaika. I have to spam some data drain and get some cores. when I do my favorite dungeon combo. I'll probably die. Yeah. Gotta keep an old stockpile, you know? The experience is just so appealing that I don't want to data drain stuff because I want to level. This is my favorite level as a kid. The night dungeon? It's just super cool to me. There's something just fun about it, like, uh, when I first started talking about this one, or like playing through it, um, I was talking about how when I was a kid, my house didn't have internet. So this was my MMO experience. Just forming random parties and doing dungeons and stuff.
思議な。あなたが。Yeah, I can distinctly remember when,、uh, like, my family wasn't really interested in technology in general. So it was our neighbor across the street. He built us a computer out of spare parts. And he just brought it over one day, and it didn't have internet. It had like. You know how, like, Windows has those pre built games? It had, um. It had something that was kind of like that.、Uh, am I in danger? No, it seems like I'm fine. Yeah, the guy's really cool. Um. He's just like a really cool guy. He, he、uh, actually, when,、uh, you know, the whole Y2K sh shit show? When、uh, everyone thought the computers were going to launch the nukes when, <laughs> when the clock turned over to 2000? Maybe not the nukes, but like, they thought there's just going to be mass technology problems when it turned over.、Um, <laughs> we are both internet boomers. Uh, that neighbor actually worked on the. He was working that New Year's Eve to make sure it didn't happen. Wasn't really, there wasn't any real danger, but like people were just so freaked out about it that,、uh, that they、uh, recruited just like very good programmers to work that New Year's Eve to make sure nothing went wrong. But yeah, no, it, it was really cool of the guy. He, um, He brought the computer over. He had all these、um, pirated games and stuff. We got like Roller Coaster Tycoon and、uh, other stuff like that. And then eventually, we actually needed to get the internet for school and stuff, so we needed to upgrade the、uh, computer that we had. There's all kinds of like little games. There's,、uh, there's one that was kind of like the Tron Cycles. Oh boy.
I'm really putting myself through hell on this one. new to play. Actually, you know what one I've been looking at? Um, I've been meaning to play through, um, ah, shit, what's it called? Um, Strikers. The new Persona. I can't believe that they haven't fixed their uh, supply chain issues yet for the PS5. Ah, uh, yeah, that's fair. Is that what the supply chain issue is being caused by? It's the graphics cards? I'm kind of ignorant on it, to be honest. I just know that they're having problems. Oh, okay, it is scalpers. It's so obnoxious. That's brutal. I don't know how people could defend the scalping unless they're... They're just so caught up in this idea of, uh... <clears throat> of capitalism in general. Like, they just have this, uh... Free market... Hard on. Oh boy. people, some people are, uh, they'll defend stuff that's 
very clearly against their best interests. Like, scalping. I know it's not quite the same, but I always kind of think of, um, scalping in the same bucket as, like, theft and stuff. There's just something inherently scummy about it. Oh yeah, I read about that one. I mean, like, on one hand, it feels like it was a random... Yeah, I don't know. Like, I guess I could kind of see the point. But given the situation and everything, like... They're using a cheating system in order to capitalize on something that they shouldn't... Yeah. No, no, wait, no. No, I'm not even going to go through the mental gymnastics to try and see the point. Because they got it through um, unfair means. It's ill-gotten goods. So they don't deserve to even have access to it. You know what I think a part of it is? The people that defend it are the people that would do it if they had the option. And since they know they would do it themselves, they have to justify it. Yeah, yeah, they might be doing a lesser form. I always kind of think about it in terms of psych as well, right? Like, if people are insecure about a thing, they often project it onto the thing they're criticizing. So, if people know deep down that they would do the same thing, they, if they see someone else getting attacked for it, they know they like take it personally
It's kind of the same with, uh... You see it happen with uh, people that cheat. Usually they're more likely to accuse their partner of cheating if they're already cheating. Because they're projecting their guilt and trying to justify their actions that they know aren't right. are funny things. Part of me regrets going into this dungeon, because it's just such a higher level than me, but... Just win. Just get good. I do be cranking out some serious AoE though. Lots of AoE DPS. This fight's actually pretty dangerous. Right. I didn't restock health potions, so... I'm in, like, serious danger. <laughs> Thank you. 
Fire Tempest. Yeah, I can't say I didn't earn that. Actually, notice there's a theme, um, a theme to my streams where I'll feel real confident about something and then uh, immediately be proven wrong. When I was doing uh, Pokemon, uh, I was doing ranked battles. You can very quickly see me get humbled over. About when I hit rank 8, I just started getting humbled. I don't think I want to go deeper into this hellhole. I'm not prepared to do it. We can revisit this. <laughs> Do I have the cores to get into that area? That was a really good leveling session, though. Everyone's level 20 now? some healing potions because don't want to get caught out. Man, I'm so hungry right now. But it's also 3 a.m. so sleep seems like the more reasonable choice than eating something. ever run into that problem? You're just like, hmm. Do I want to have bed for dinner? Choices. Get off my vent or I'll have you bent. That's fair. My brother's sleep schedule is really bonkers as well. He, um. He was on a cycle where he was. Staying up all night, going to sleep at 7 a.m. for two hours, waking up, doing an hour of class, or like a couple hours of homework, then going back to sleep until like 5 p.m. or something like that. Like, I don't understand why he was putting a break in there. But... 
That is the most degenerate sleep schedule I've ever seen was coming out of him. I've been at that point though, where the sleep cycle is just so borked. Uh, back when I worked in the factory as a cleaner, and they'd book me for three different start times in a week, I would just die. Sense. It's kind of like when, uh... <laughs> when I worked afternoon shifts, I'd get off around 10 p.m. And you don't want to just go straight to bed after work. You kind of want to do something where you feel like you've had a day. You just kind of go with the flow in the worst kind of way. impulses where you're just like, yeah, I'm gonna eat peanut butter out of a jar. That's where I'm getting to. I just spoon jar of peanut butter. Oh. I got through this dungeon way faster than I expected. Couldn't be me. plan was to, uh, so like, I was hanging out with my roommates, 
for a bit. And they had said they wanted to go for a walk. So I was like, okay, cool. We'll go for a walk. Um, we'll eventually just go for it. And then my plan was, because the Tim Hortons just opened up within walking distance, like 10 minutes from the house. So I was like, yeah, we'll walk up to the Tim Hortons, I'll get a snack, and then we'll come back. And we just never went for the walk. <laughs> to do that um zach and i we'd we would walk to the tim hortons near his place and then we'd encounter all kinds of random people our um the more popular convenience store up here was called max it it got uh it got bought out uh, it's called circle k now but uh anytime we went to the max we'd run into people we knew from school at like those late hours and just all kinds of you'd see a lot of silly shit <laughs> I'll have to make my way down to uh to your neck of the woods once the pandemic's done I can travel Yeah, it'd be a blast. There's a couple spots that I have in mind in the States that I'd like to visit. New York being one, and then going down there is another. <laughs> nah, don't worry about that. You're gonna make me feel like I need to keep up. <laughs> Do I do one more? Let's see if I can get through that level 20 dungeon. One more. Ah, oh, it's just one more dungeon. Until I can't open up the virus gate, and then I gotta go get the cores. later. Holy shit. You know, each of those six dungeons, it's gonna be like the five floor ones where I get really unlucky too. I found out that people uh, speedrun this. Like, there's actual, like, speedrun strats and stuff for this game.
Did you ever see, um... Oh, what's her name? Jaden Animations. She speed ran... Uh... Cooking Mama. Because it had no records, so she was like... <laughs> so she just ran it to set the pace. sat down and watched the bit. It was... There were some pretty good laughs. If anyone tried to challenge her, though, I think they'd beat her pretty easily. Well, maybe not, because there is some level of skill to Cooking Mama. But just like if someone was, like, really on point with the Cooking Mama games and they tried to beat her, they could do it. Yeah, I'd be curious to see that too. Well, at least I'll survive in Greedy Golden March now. Have you ever heard of the, uh... The trio of, uh... JRPGs that were on the Wii. There's a. Uh... Turns out they're all from X Seed, which is the uh, the company that did. Yeah, so there's another one on that list. Um, it's called Pandora's Tower. The reason I bring it up is I have all three of the trilogy on Wii. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one. I've never actually played, uh, like, played any of them. I, like, collected them but never got around to them, so I want to stream them to actually experience them. I also have the, uh, the lesser known Xenoblade Chronicles X that was a Wii U release that did not get any attention because they delayed it over and over again. Yeah, that sounds very right.
Yeah, that's fair. I went and invested in a pro controller for it. But realistically, you shouldn't have to do that for a console. Oh no, they just, uh, they synced up to it. If you had a wired one, it was through USB. Otherwise, it was, uh, Bluetooth. Bluetooth the right connectivity? Maybe. just so annoying because of how bulky it was. For a long time I just made do, but it wasn't exactly enjoyable. Wii U is like a, uh, a case study in everything that you can do wrong when launching a console. Like, everything from not explaining what it was. Like, people thought it was just a peripheral for the Wii. <clears throat> and then the higher price point, like... I think it was on par in pricing to the PS4. Maybe a little bit less. But it was like, it had no right being as expensive as it was. Virtual boy, but like modern day, in a way harder to hit. sell some items, get some money, buy some more resurrects because my entry into that level did not go so hot. Can I get the cores I need? No, I need two more A cores. <clears throat> so good. Well, actually reminds me, um, I don't know if I ever shared this fun fact with you, but, uh, 
the same composer did there's a composer she did dot hack sign uh, <clears throat> was like one of hers but then like other big uh, projects that the composer for dot hack sign worked on were uh, Madoka Magica Sword Art Online <clears throat> uh, Shadow Hearts Covenant I wouldn't call that a a big project, but definitely an iconic one. And all the same composer. Dot Hack GU had the same, like, she came back for Dot Hack GU. I'm pretty sure. I might be wrong on that part. Yeah, I was blown away when I found out how many, like, things I really liked the music in that she worked on. I was like, oh, shit. Mm. Okay. I'm gonna fall asleep doing that dungeon, I think. I'm hitting that point. So I think I'm gonna stop for now. <laughs> that would be an experience. Y'all can hear me talk in my sleep. Apparently I'm pretty, uh, pretty talkative. There is a... Oh my god, excuse me. There's one night where I had a dream about Skyrim. Because <laughs> I was playing it, like, non-stop in my spare time. And, uh... In my dream, I did one of the dragon shouts, like I did the Fusro Da. And I yelled it in my sleep and I woke myself up. if I wake anyone up with my in-sleep yelling Ooh, tonight. Alright, well, thanks for swinging by. I'll talk to you later. That's amazing. Yeah, you too. I'll uh, I'll catch you later. I'll, I'll update you as I'm. I'm probably gonna finish Castlevania tomorrow, so I'll tell you my final thoughts. <laughs>